I'm really excited to be entered into the 10 kilometre race for the Medibank Melbourne Marathon Festival. For me, this year marks a six year anniversary um, from when I had a spinal injury. Um, back in 2006, I was on holiday in Jordan um, with a tour group and it was a case of wrong place, wrong time and a man came out of nowhere and started shooting at our tour group. I got shot in the spine and was instantly paralysed from the waist down. The first thing that came into my mind was, this can't be happening, this is not real. Um, and then almost instantaneously, when I was um, collapsed onto the stairs, I also thought, I'm going to be in a wheelchair forever. I went into surgery that day in Jordan and they removed a bullet from my spine and the surgeon came to visit me after the operation. And he said to me, it looks really good, you should make a nearly full recovery. Um, your spinal cord is intact and I think that that was the incentive that I needed to just work hard to get to where I am now and ever since then I've just been working really hard to achieve one goal after another and this year it's the run. I have tried running in the past but it's been quite difficult um, and I think that doing the race is the incentive that I needed to push myself that little bit harder that sometimes it, it is hard to get overcome your own mind. For this particular race, I would like to, to obviously complete the 10 kilometres and I would also like to do it in under an hour. In the past, I've really enjoyed my running and I think it's important to set small goals um, that are achievable, hence why I've chosen the 10 kilometres this time. But if I can achieve that, then who knows, I might be going for the half marathon and then maybe even one day the marathon. I work as a general practice um, and a lot of our work is in preventative health so I follow a generally um, quite a healthy lifestyle and I haven't had to change it too much um, with regards to training for this event. I guess the biggest thing for me um, that I've learnt from having this injury is the power of positive thinking. Um, I've made a very, very good recovery that's um, exceeded any expectations of any of the, the health professionals that have been looking after me. And for the most part, I think it's because I've had um, a lot of good support from family and friends, but I've also had a lot of um, positive thinking myself. I mean, there's been dark times where I haven't wanted to get out of bed, but the fact of, you know, thinking about what life would be like if I, if I remained like this, if I stayed in a wheelchair, it just was enough to get me moving, get out of bed and, and physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, it was, it was difficult. Um, but just, I guess, seeing that glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel was enough to keep me going. Finishing up at the MCG is going to be um, pretty exciting, I think. For me, I'm new to Melbourne. I've only been here for a year. I've never actually been to the MCG, obviously having seen it on the TV a lot. Um, and then just, I'm sure the crowd will get me going and just being able to cross, cross the uh, finish line and, and um, tick off yet another goal would be amazing. I feel so good after doing that run. I made my goal of um, running under 60 minutes, but only just five seconds under. But I'm pretty happy with that. I've tried running in the past, but it's just never felt right. But today I was on form and it felt really, really good. My body held up pretty well, actually, um, considering I've been off for the last three weeks with an injury. So this feels really good to have finished the race and in under 60 minutes. This is the biggest race I've ever run. And it's a pretty amazing feeling to be part of 9,000 people doing the race and ending in the MCG. If anyone else is thinking of doing this run, I definitely recommend it, give it a go. Anyone can do it and on the day the crowd gets you going and you actually, try, you actually feel like you can run a lot better than any training runs with the crowd and um, today's beautiful Melbourne weather getting you going. I really enjoyed my 10Ks today, who knows what the future's going to hold. I'd love to run a half marathon but you know, at this stage we just take it one day as it comes. <laughs>